Yes, I'm going to ask Mr. Lebomsky to come forward and uh, ask him to make the representations that were made to us tonight, this afternoon, and uh, and ask uh, uh, Commissioner Adonato as our liaison that's uh, for uh, been appointed by you to uh, to uh, to amplify any part of the discussion that he sees fit. Please, Ray. Thank you, Mr. Stunson. Uh, Ray Lebomsky, uh, Community and Economic Development Director. Uh, Commissioner Adonato and I met with the um, executive board of the Oakland Park Main Street last night uh, in regards to their letter to me uh, May 13th, which I th think I copied everybody on. Um, but basically to discuss what their concerns were, um, they unanimously voted to uh, re reject the three-month extension proposed as item 7. Uh, if producing October uh, October 1st, 2010 uh, was an anticipated deliverable. Uh, we met with them and discussed with them. 2011. Pardon me? 2011. Uh, 2011, I'm sorry. <clears throat> they started, they, uh, they also stated that the uh, fundraising for the event was uh, behind schedule uh, if they were going to fund uh, the October 1st, uh, 2011. Um, we then discussed a little bit the RFQ that we sent out, and uh, they qu kind of questioned their role in that RFQ. Uh, they they felt that based on the discussions and comments and and sentiments expressed at the uh, April twentieth uh, meeting of uh, the city commission uh, that the issuance and the issuance of the RFQ that they fa failed to kind of see their future role with with the city. Um, we uh, again, after some consideration and discussion with the commissioner and, and the city manager, uh, I met with um, Ziggy Constantine again this morning and uh, worked out that if we do, if the commission does decide to go forward with a three-month extension, I worked out a scope of work for that three months uh, as a suggested uh, scope of work, and they uh, accepted it. And the uh, the three items I had was that they uh, completed the wayfinding signing program today that began this summer with the property owners and business owners along uh, Main Street uh, that they continue to market the downtown area as they have been and the third thing would be that they would actively participate in developing the uh, the downtown marketing component of the uh, five-year uh, strategic action plan that we're planning to develop uh, and that's called for in the RFQ. Uh, as an alternate would be to, uh, if they, if we both agreed on, they would move forward with the Oktoberfest event. Uh, but in any case, uh, we met with our pl uh, planning and leisure services uh, department, and they'd be willing to uh, execute the uh, Oktoberfest for this year if necessary. So I'm open for any Commissioner questions. Commissioner Adonado, would you like to add any comments from your meeting? Yes, uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Ray, for, for the time that you put in in the city manager um, and, and for all the work, um, honestly, that, that Main Street uh, Oakland Park has done. And I think some of the speakers tonight and in the past have talked about uh, the successes that they've had. Uh, one of the speakers listed a number of the businesses that have come into uh, downtown and that there are <clears throat> a number of other businesses that are quite honestly on the verge of, of opening up of opening up and again those are discussions that uh, are, are kept confidential in order to maintain the, those those business interests and so I think there's a lot of work uh, that this group has done there's a lot of uh, knowledge that they brought to the city a lot of years of hard work and I think that uh, if we can it, it doesn't seem like now we have a full vision for what happens in a year or two or how we keep that moving. And so I think until we have that, we've got to maintain some consistency, uh, provide a united face to what is coming uh, along downtown. There's a lot of businesses that have been working with uh, Main Street, and I think that that experience uh, uh both here right in the city of oakland park and the and the professional experience that the folks on the board bring uh and the uh the fact 
of the matter is, is their volunteer time for the most part uh, will greatly enhance the strategic planning process um, that that uh, city staff have put forward for that RFQ. So I think it's I think it's a real benefit to uh, really informing that strategic planning process. And once that's done, then we can decide how to move forward. And I think um, that'll give us the the needed bridge to how to move forward. Commissioner McCartney. Thank you, Mayor. My understanding was that the whole reason that, that we were you know, offering to extend it for simply this time period was because we were going into the budget season and we were going to make the determination um, in, the, in the scope of our entire budget process how and where Main Street fit in and, and to what extent financially. So I'm a little bit at a loss as to you know, why this is troublesome. I mean, m my thought was that this was actually um, an affirmative step toward uh, maintaining the relationship with Main Street and certainly <coughs> to facilitate the Oktoberfest uh, festival because it's been so successful. I mean, that was my understanding of why we were doing that. Is that not what, what Main Street is understanding? Well, I would just underscore the, and, and again, it was early on, but it was in April when I had brought forward the idea of, uh, w you know, what to do with, uh, with Main Street because they were already months behind in in, in having a formal decision about Oktoberfest and therefore their planning process. And so in past years, uh, the planning process had begun January, February, fundraising and things like that. So the, there, at that point, the, the, the desire was to have an answer by the end of April. Now we're looking at the end of, of May and it's uh, just another month behind and trying to make Oktoberfest happen um, with as much gusto as has happened in the past might be a little limited, but um, I think that the <coughs> desire and the ability to market uh, and continue uh, is, is exactly, that portion of it is absolutely right there. Vice, Vice Mayor? The Oktoberfest event was a part of their contract. Last year's. Right. October, oh, the, October their contract yeah. began October 1 of I understand the timing is an issue. But I, I kind of feel like there, there's an attempt to hold us hostage over Oktoberfest because nobody else can do it. And, that, and the fact that I'm hearing that they're not prepared or they're not, I, I heard that they can't do it because of funding, but now that some concessions or agreements have been made, maybe they can do it. If this is not gonna be a successful event, I'm a little bit troubled that it appears that we're walking into this very late if they've waited till now to plan for Oktoberfest. Um, I think that it, it should have been become apparent by now that things have to be done differently, um, that certainly Oktoberfest has to be handled differently if it's to be a, a financially beneficial event. Um, and if the city can do it, I, I just, I'm hearing mixed messages from from Oktoberfest, it was one of their contractual obligations. Unfortunately, it fell at the end of the contract period. No, they they have met their contractual obligation to put on Oktoberfest 2010. That's what they did. That was what was in their contract, and they and they did it. So right. Oktoberfest 2011 is not in their contract, and that's what they were seeking, and that's what I had brought forward to the commission at the April, the second April meeting, and there was not a consensus on supporting. Um, Main Street to to conduct Oktoberfest at that meeting. Some some of the, their other concerns were that some of the sponsors that they get, especially the big name sponsors, that they expect a year long kind of a commitment to their their sponsorship and advertising during the year. And I guess uh, some of the members feel that if they don't have that commitment for the next year, they feel that um, they can't really make that commitment to these sponsors. Uh, there, there is, I mean, I was involved with Oktoberfest a number of years. There is one very obvious area in the planning and the, the, the carrying out of that event that the city uh, or Main Street doesn't receive. Probably it's, it's just due. The food and, and beverages um, were a big drain. I, certainly that's an area that could be approached differently so that they actually make a little money off it instead of it all going to the vendor. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they should have figured out by now that it has to be done differently. Doing it the same way over and over again and expecting a different result, I think we all know what that's the definition of. Um, I, I just, I feel like 
there's a little bit of spoiled child here or a little bit of <laughs> if you don't do it my way I'm gonna take my marbles and go home um, if this isn't a cooperative partnership if this isn't an equal partnership is anything gonna happen to make it change I, I'm, I'm just troubled by this whole situation Commissioner McCartney thank you madam mayor I, I I'm, I'm astonished frankly that that the, the perception was that we weren't going forward with it and that this wasn't happening and that for that reason or that there was something said in April that would lead Main Street to believe that 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 this would not happen and so I'm astonished that they hadn't taken steps already to have this event underway yes it was part of the 10 contract but I see no reason to believe nothing this this Commission has said that I can understand would lead anyone to believe that it wasn't going to continue in this fashion and in fact this does exactly that this tells them hey mm -hmm. we're going to work this out uh, we've got a budget coming up everybody's having to work uh, you know to, to make changes um, but in a, in a good faith gesture we're going to go ahead and extend it so that you know you've got a contract and everybody knows to go forward with Oktoberfest I'm frankly astonished that 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 hasn't happened mm -hmm. Commissioner Arenado. Um with all due respect, I, I think that at that April 20th meeting, um, there were a lot of comments that were made around the table. And when we saw a consensus, uh, the consensus, uh, although I was not part of it, was to await the budgeting process before deciding whether or not to extend the contract or to even have another contract. So with that said, the contract ends on September 30th and therefore Oktoberfest would not, Oktoberfest 2011 would not occur be c or, or could not potentially occur without a decision on that contract. And so it was pushed to a later time uh, when it would incur with the budget process. So, so we're still advancing it in front of the budget process, but it's still another month later. I mean, I, I, I do think, um, and I, I think with a further discussion with the board, that there's a potential to make that collaboration indeed happen. Uh, on Oktoberfest. Commissioner Shank. I think we need to wait until the budget process to proceed with this and see if there is a good faith effort made to proceed with Oktoberfest with or without our support <coughs> and that will assist with the decision making during our budget process. Um, I'd like to make a few comments if I may. Um, we received a letter from Main Street Board on, uh, I guess last night, was emailed. I, at least I got mine. Did you get one? Mm -mm. No. The commissioners didn't get this letter? No. I, I, well, I sent it to your office. But. Oh, no wonder. I'm, I'm not putting I'm, two and two together. I was searching. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I, it, was, it was our intent to ensure that you had the letter as part of the, uh, as part of the backup. All right. Let me uh, tell you that I did receive this letter, and it says in the letter, and this is this is something that concerns me, that they uh, unanimously voted to decline the offer of a three-month extension if producing Oktoberfest in 2011 is an anticipated undeliverable. Um, and in Section A, and I'll give this to the city clerk. If, if it is or is not. It it says, if producing Oktoberfest in 2011 is an anticipated deliverable, they unanimously voted to decline the offer of the three-month extension. Now, then in Section A, um, it says that uh, the commission and staff were advised of a critical timeline um, on April 30th. In Section C, it's, there's a, a statement that says... Um, that they would uh, feel that it was disingenuous or perhaps unethical to solicit sponsors with the knowledge that the city's support for Main Street would cease on September 30th. And then on the last paragraph, it says that they have met, that basically that, uh, I'm gonna read this because I think this is important. Oakland Park Main Street is proud of its long association with the city of Oakland Park and is deeply appreciative of the city's past commitment and support for our mission. Looking back, the accomplishments are abundant. The creation of the Jacob Pistorius Park, 
the mural, the sixth annual Oktoberfest, implementation of the CRA um, property available website, two annual German antique car shows, Meet Me on Main Street, promotion of the LAC and CRA, although I don't know if promotion of the LAC was in their contract, which I don't think it was, um, and um, ongoing update of maintenance of business and property database of the downtown principal source information, um, inquiries from, <laughs> from um, prospective investors, a publication of a monthly e-newsletter, holiday home tour, an NAIO bus tour, annual FRA award, concierge service to businesses in the LAC, CRA, and beyond, and implementation of a facade improvement program that they, that they um, said that over the next four months, Main, Main Street will focus on energy for marketing the downtown events and initiatives currently on our schedule and will work with the city to provide a smooth transition until our contract expires September 30th. That being said, um, I was really, when I got this, I was like, shocked, shocked as to how we could arrive at this conclusion by them at this point. Totally unexplainable. I have a um, direct question, if I may, Mayor. Uh, go ahead. And I don't know whether Commissioner Adonato could perhaps answer it or, or, or staff. The, the statement was that this is rejected if it's expected that, Oak, that uh, Oktoberfest would occur. I'm going to give it to you so you can read it for yourself. Yeah, but my, my, my question is, is so is, is, is the point that... I in yellow. Thank you. Is, is the point that it is too late and it cannot be done? Or if we were to hypothetically this evening say, let's go ahead with the year, suddenly it could well, be done. Let me say this before, before any further comments go on. And, and here's, here's what I'm thinking. For the last couple of years, knowing the contract expires the end of September, it has always created an issue because Oktoberfest, here they are, they're trying to plan, 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 but their contract ends September 30th, and they don't know if they're going to have a contract the following day, which is Oktoberfest. So my thinking is that giving the three-month extension changes the time frame of the ending of the contract so we don't have this problem anymore, number one, and that in the future they'll know that they have a contract for Oktoberfest. And in somehow or other, it is felt to be derogatory by them that this, that this extension, and in fact, it's quite the contrary. And then to say, well, they'll go forward, but usually they start back four months ago to start collecting money, and now they don't think they can do it. And tonight, Mr. Lebomsky, you're saying that they are saying something different than the letter they've submitted to the city. Is that correct? Well, they have. After we met with them, they, they, they're willing to work on again, projects that, that th this commission will approve. All right, so one of the things I would ask for then is if they're now saying something different than the letter, they need to rescind that letter that to, because now that's a public record and they have a current contract. Now if they're willing to move forward, then they need to rescind the letter and say they're willing to move forward in good faith. Um, I don't see how the push and pull is is advantageous to the city and I would like to see in good faith that they're willing to continue to do the work. I think one of the big contentions is that, at least uh, from what I'm hearing, is that um, that there's an RFP out there and they don't know what their role will be or how this will affect them. I think that's a contention. That is an issue. Yes. Uh, Commissioner Adonato. Well, I would add a, another difference uh, in where we're at now versus in prior years is that the city commission last year decided that uh, that the $50,000 would not come out of general funds and that indeed it would be a one-time <laughs> allocation from the special fund. So therefore uh, without a, uh, without it being in the in the in the general revenue the assumption, I mean, the use of that fifty thousand dollars was specifically for as a one-time use, and so there has not been any clarity until this three-month extension came forward that there was definitely going to be more, more time. And so I, 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 I just think perhaps the wording of the agenda item, and by the way, I don't agree with the Hatch Act. That's number one, big number one. They are not employees. 
if they want to go out and do politics, whatever it is they want to do in their own time, have at it. I'm not going to sit here and pass something like that with a Hatch Act in here that says they can't go out and, and campaign for whatever candidate they want. To me, that's a gross violation of their civil rights to do what they want to do politically, whether we agree or not with whoever they want to support. On their own time, they should be allowed to do whatever they want to do. Vice Mayor. With one caveat, as representatives of Main Street, when they are acting as representatives of Main Street, they violate the provisions of their 501c3 by practicing um, partisan politics, lobbying, et cetera, while they are acting as representatives of Main Street. At the end of the day, we're still commissioners. At the end of their day, they're still Main Street people. But at the end of the day, let me finish. We get to go out and say whoever we want to support, why shouldn't they? I'm not suggesting they shouldn't be able to do it on their own time. I was simply adding the caveat that when they are acting as representatives of Main Street. You're recognized when we're finished, Mr. Stunson. They are they must adhere to the guidelines of their 501c3 or they put their nonprofit status in jeopardy. Right, but I, I don't, I don't think all. it's the Hatch Act, to me, is going too far. And I don't agree with it, and I'm not going to support any motion that includes the Hatch Act, and I'll tell you that right now. Mr. Stunson. The Hatch Act was used as an um, example of having staff that were paid for by city funds to prohibit that staff from lobbying the city with city funds. It goes way and beyond it should, that. It does, and it should be rewritten, and a final document would, mm -hmm. I've asked Ray to, to, to look carefully at that and work with the city attorney, but uh, the, the idea and the issue comes from the Hatch Act only as a model not to use public funds to lobby, lobby a public entity. Now, we can craft probably two sentences uh, much better, but the, the concept comes from the Hatch Act back in the, back in the 30s and the 40s. And I think that I'd, I'd like to understand from the commission, you know, whether or not they support the the, the, the employees of that organization uh, not lobbying city staff or, or, or the commissioners because that's, that's city funds. Now, that, the way it's written and the way it's stated in there goes way beyond what, what, what the intent was um, in terms of the prohibition that we were that I was suggesting. This says employees prohibited from engaging in partisan political activity. Uh, and I'm saying, saying wrong. not on duty. Yeah, but but see, the partisan politics was not even contemplated. I think Ray overreached on it a little bit from from my perspective, and I was really interested in uh, not using City of Oakland Park public funds for lobbying City of Oakland Park elected officials or or staff. I, I would like to offer this for the commission's consideration and and. If you still need to discuss it, we'll discuss it. Here's what I would like to offer. The contract, in my thinking, um, would be, first of all, for them to rescind the letter saying they're not going to do anything more. That's number one, because otherwise the letter stands, unless they write and say in writing that it's rescinded. Number two, I'd like to extend the contract for the three months only because it takes away all the uncertainty of, well, do we prepare for Oktoberfest or we don't? And you know what? In good faith, here's what I'll even go another step further. Make it one year and three months so that it goes, they want a full year and make it so that it goes beyond the Oktoberfest date into, into December or January. I'd even go that far to get the question of, do we work to promote Oktoberfest or not? I don't really like it uh, ending on September 30th because of that issue. Now, the next thing, the next thing is, is if we're going to like looking at this contract that's in our agenda, it talks about, um, for example, a, a winter event. Last year, everybody was in agreement. Uh, some of you weren't here at that time to have a Christmas tree lighting in the Jack of Astorias Park instead of having the, the holiday event in their parking lot and in their office. So I, I'd like to, to, to do that as we go forward and look at the new contract so that we have, we have the children doing their things in Wembley Field because of the l less traffic on Dixie Highway and they want to stay there. I agree with that. But we were the only city that can't have a Christmas lighting, and I don't want that to happen again. I mean, I took some pictures of the one at Wilton Manors they had put up, it was very simple. It had lights. People drove by. They saw it. They were happy. 
I want our citizens to be happy. With all due respect, in government speak, it's a holiday tree, not a Christmas tree. Well, to me, it's a Christmas tree. It can be a holiday tree to, to <laughs> some people, but it'll always be a Christmas tree to me. <laughs> the, it is what it is, and, uh, and, and I don't mind saying Christmas. Um, the next thing is um, the planning of the Oktoberfest by changing the date um, will cha will take away all the uncertainties and and, and I, I don't want that I don't want this kind of thing going on and carrying on anymore um, marketing the downtown area this is on page um, 61 and I don't think that saying marketing the downtown area is is sufficient I think we need to be specific as to what we expect from them if, if they are going to meet our goals, they need to know what those goals are. Madam Mayor? Um, I, you know, this is why I would support the extension, for the very reasons we've discussed. And it would also give us the opportunity to get through the budget season, the process, to see what funding and to what degree this is funded, it, and to refine and, and renegotiate this contract so that it does have much more specific things in it. So that's why I'm willing to do this for three months have it stand as it is so we get through Oktoberfest and let's have some clarity about that. And then after we go through the budget process or during that time, we work to, to rewrite this contract with very specific goals and points. Well, I, I, I want to say that if we're going to extend it through December, then we need to have specific clarity on, for example, the, the Christmas tree lighting in Jacob Stories Park. Otherwise, we're going to be again without providing clarity. Well, well I think that it is, it is, it is painfully evident that there needs to be a little more dialogue between these two entities. I mean, that this has happened, it's come to that, that, that this has been in the agenda all this time. And not until last night did we get this idea that... You didn't even get the letter. Well, my, my point is that obviously these two entities need to work together. And so I think that we could pass this today with the, uh, the three-month extension and still work toward defining what they would do perhaps at Christmas holiday time <laughs> you said the word <laughs> and i would be more than willing whether it's three months you know in that three over the course of this time to ensure that i am providing that communication yeah. uh, and making sure that this body is is aware of what's happening and to identify some of those specifics especially uh, well, those and, that come and out of we will um, and Commissioner Shank has brought up some issues about additional reporting of, of a budgetary items yes. and that can be worked out Absolutely. but but I just think that to me that there's anger and misunderstanding because there hasn't been clarity and number one there hasn't been communication enough so I would like to have some kind of an increase maybe I know it says uh, that they come to give us a report during a commission meeting maybe every two weeks is not enough Maybe they need to give you a report, Mr. Stunson, f sooner, like weekly, so that there's more communication. And I think that's the biggest problem is the communication, because they are thinking one thing, we're all sitting here thinking something different, and at the end of the day, we want um, to make sure that there is clarity about what's happening with, with the uh, RFP and what's happening with their role. And I think those are all things that need to be discussed as we go forward. So then, um, could I get a motion to leave the current contract as it is that, and that they will rescind that letter and move forward with Oktoberfest and extend the contract for three months? Oh. Mr. Stunson. Uh, the latest discussion included um, finishing the way, way, wayfinding program it included they would continue to market the downtown area and it included that they would actively participate in the marketing component of the five-year strategic plan so they would they would have input okay on the, on the development of the marketing component uh, of, of, the, of the of the relook at the CRA plan the five-year strategy plan that we want and and focus specifically on the downtown now in no hatch act and i want to say this well, because I, I, I would like to this have three make month sure extension I, and i'd like to make sure there's some clarity there will I, be I think we're going to vote on it well then 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 from the commission uh does anyone interested in it in a provision that would prohibit uh at least the staff uh from uh, from from actual lobbying activities with the uh, city staff and and the commission I would say leave it alone as it is for three months. The commission, um, how do you feel about that? 
I think that we've got to fine tune that and be specific and just putting a band-aid on it for the next three months is only going to rub a little salt in it. I think that, you know, it has been a fact up to now. Three more months isn't going to make a difference. Um, my question is, I guess going back to, you know, they won't do it if they are expected to produce Oktoberfest. Could have the letter are they canceling Oktoberfest? Yes. No, I, in this letter they are. Well, in the letter they uh, did. But, but Ray has met with them since the letter. Yeah, we, since I met with them last, uh, the, I identified it as an option based on the commission's input. If the commission so wanted the, uh, them to handle Oktoberfest, then they definitely would consider it. Uh, um, Vice Mayor, let me, let me say this to your comment. The letter is clear. Mm -hmm. He is giving a third party hearsay. I understand that. I mean, they're, they're going to have to come back with a, a revocation of that letter. Um, they're going to have to explain to us what they believe will happen with Oktoberfest. Um, <laughs> So it's kind of a conditional. I understand three that's months. that's subject to. City attorney has moved forward. Watch out! <laughs> <laughs> you want to speak? Go ahead. Well, either they'll sign the amendment or they won't. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So the letter, it, 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 it may become a moot point if right. if they sign the amendment. Yeah. I think Go ahead. That's a good point. Yeah. I, I would just like to make one real quick short statement. Um, staff always prepares good backup for this uh, our agenda. Don't ever use Wikipedia for expert advice. Anyone can go in and type anything into Wikipedia. Schools don't allow it to be used as bibliographies. It, it's not reliable information. So wherever that came from, um, Wikipedia is not a reliable source for. I've also heard, um, and I and I want to say this for the record that I've heard. Uh, comments come from Main Street that the Commission doesn't have dialogue and that they don't give reasons for what they're doing I hope that tonight has shown that is not true we've spent a great deal of time having dialogue on this and trying to provide some clarity and we are all available by phone if you want to ask any questions we're here to take the calls could I get a motion I so move what you said, which was <laughs> the three months. I knew that was coming. <laughs> the three month extension um, with the provisions as identified, uh, not having the reference to the lobbying hatch act, uh, wayside uh, the wayside finders as as the staff has said that they would do participating in the marketing component of the strategic planning process. And the Christmas tree. Holiday tree. And discussion of a holiday activity. No, discussion. They have to do it. The Christmas tree lighting. A holiday event. What about this funding? What about this $12,000? That's a amount that the city has budgeted for their portion of the October fest. Yeah, that's in addition to the $50,000. Uh, we we uh, play a big role in the event. <laughs> um, Ray's committed uh, a lot of his time and a lot of our, our, our uh, staff commits time, BSO commits time, and uh, our cost uh, out of pocket for the tent and other uh, things are $12,000. So the, the recommendation to you is to approve the 90-day extension and ensure that the uh, funds are available after October 1 uh, to help match their efforts. Now, part of this was uh, what uh, the vice mayor mentioned is uh, having uh, having us have a little bit more understanding of the uh, financial uh, relationship between the Main Street organization and the vendors, and uh, and uh, we had uh, we had issues going you know from last year trying to sort sort through you know who was selling the tickets, what the accountability was, and things of that nature. And I know that one of the commissioners raised that financial accountability issue, and we've tried to build that in as well. So. Uh, that Ray and the commissioner myself will have uh, uh, the liaison will have some uh, some uh, t uh, correspondence and discussion and uh, we'll try to come to terms and get through January and with them participating in the strategic plan and, and being financially accountable. Commissioner Shank. <laughs> I just leaned forward. I wasn't hey, I'm putting ready. my hand up, but uh, why not? I just don't have a good feeling in my stomach about this. 
about any of it. I'm concerned about that letter. I'm concerned about the discussions of Oktoberfest. I raised issues about better transparency and reporting. I didn't ask for an audited financial statement. I didn't ask for weekly reports. Just asked for some improvement. And I really, my perception is that those comments really were not received very well. Even if they were received well, how long has this organization been going and why are we, I'm not the first person to ask for this. I'm not the first person to look at Oktoberfest and say what's, you know, what's the relationship with the vendors. So a lot of this, as this relationship has evolved over the years, I'm really concerned that we don't have some of this in place right now. So I'm just, I'm not comfortable with any contract extension right now. As I said, I'm, I'm open to everything. I'm open-minded. I'm open to waiting through to our budget process and seeing if there's a good faith effort to go forward with Oktoberfest. And I'm wait to what I see. See if there's that good faith effort. See if there's some better transparency and reporting. See if I'm there's better communication going on. We get into the budget process, then I'll, I'll make my decision then. But I, I don't I don't feel good about it going forward right now. Wish, oh, I Vice would Mayor. just like to suggest that one solution, suggestion to whoever carries out Oktoberfest, if we have it, um, would be for someone other than the food vendor to sell the food and beverage tickets. That would give everyone that accountability. You've got the fox guarding the hen house. If the person who's selling the tickets is then collecting the tickets and holding the money, and no wonder we could never get a, a, a clear answer. So that we do, we do, and I, Commissioner Shank, I appreciate the clarity that, and Vice Mayor and commissioners that we're asking for here, and I think that's that's a critical component for funding, to know better financial reporting, absolutely. And I would like to ask then to go back to them, and ask them to ask their accountant to find ways to meet these goals. But more specifically, I would like to suggest, strongly suggest, that they don't have the food and beverage vendor sell the tickets. I'll carry that message. Well, there's a motion. Is there a second? And is the motion is for the three-month extension, without reference to the Hatch Act, with the tentative agreements that they made, as verbally delivered by Ray Lebomsky, and that based on revocation of their letter, correct? Producing Oktoberfest. Was that in the And motion? producing Oktoberfest. Okay. Um, and a holiday event. That and Christ a holiday event. Christmas More tree More transparency on the financials. Holiday event in Jacko Pistorius Park for the public. And, um, and what about concentrating the their efforts on the LAC. The downtown area. Yeah. Mm. Madam Mayor, we didn't address the 12,000. Well, the, the uh, a, a fee was given to them to in April, house. Mr. Stunton. Is that correct? I'm sorry? Wasn't money given to them in April? Different 12,000. This is a different the 12, city's 12,000 oh, oh, contribution sorry. You're to October 12,000 for Oktoberfest, right? right? Yeah, no, we, I, we still have to do that. I don't know why this doesn't make money. Well, it's, it does for them. It does. But it for doesn't them. for us. And, and, we're, and it, it does for the food and beverage vendor. This is, this is our part of the, the partnership toward making it happen. Correct. And there, and there. Is, is there, I'll call the question. Uh, a motion's been made. I, I was just asking for clarification. Yeah. I will yes. second okay. with Roll the call. clarification Roll. I mentioned. Roll call. Vice Mayor Silly. Yes. Commissioner Adonato. Yes. Commissioner McCartney. Yes. <clears throat> Commissioner Shank. No. Mayor Boivineau. Yes. Resolution by title only. Resolution City Commission City of Oakland Park, North Florida, approving and authorizing property city officials to execute amendment to contract with Oakland Park Main Street, Inc. to extend the term to December 31st, 2011. Copy of the contracts attached as Exhibit A. Providing a complex severability and effective date. Item number 11. Um, <coughs> pass the resolution. Yeah. Then. Oh, pass the resolution. A motion to pass, please. Motion, motion to pass. pass. Second. Roll call. Vice Mayor Silly. Yes. Commissioner Adonato. Yes. Commissioner McCartney. Yes. Commissioner Shank. No. Mayor Boivineau. Yes.